Good Wednesday to all. Hope you are doing well. Uh, we're going to start off with a verse that appears in Proverbs and Mishlei. Me'or enaim yesamach lev. Me'or enaim. Right? The, the light in the eyes, yesamach lev, brings joy to the heart. Now, what does that mean? So, commentators have different approaches to explain this verse. So some just say it means a cheerful look brings joy to the heart, right? When you go ahead and see someone who is cheerful, who welcomes you, that brings happiness to your heart. So that's one explanation. Rashi presents two. Number one, me'or enaim, light in your eyes, refers to the real light, the light of Torah. When you study words of Torah, right, by looking at the text, there is ma'or, there is light, in your eyes, and the result is it brings happiness to your heart. That's the happiness that's being referred to. Explanation number two is that when someone sees something that is pleasant, and Rashi points out like a nice garden or a magnificent water stream, right? You take go down to Edward Gardens. Or go see any one of any of the beautiful parks that we have here in Toronto, and it brings maor enaim. It really illuminates the eyes. That brings happiness to the heart. This is what Rashi tells us. Now another explanation is presented uh, by uh, several authorities, and they say the following: You know, when we are in doubt. Right? When things are uncertain, it is difficult for us. We don't live well with uncertainty. However, when things do suddenly become clear, right? when there's a resolution to something we were not sure about, that brings happiness. Me'or enaim, when some, suddenly you see the light, things suddenly become clear, that is what brings happiness to the heart. And there's a well-known statement, en simcha katarat asfekot, that there's no greater joy than resolving doubt. So that is what the text is referring to. Now, we deal during this period of time with a lot of uncertainty. And I, just, and I don't mean just the elections in the United States. There's uncertainty. So we have to find different ways of bringing this happiness to the heart. So let's follow Rashi's suggestion. Rashi tells us, you want that Yisamach Lev? So number one, do some Me'or Enaim. Bring light to your eyes through the study of Torah. Study the words of our tradition. They are meaningful. They are always relevant. They connect us to the higher being. And yes, they bring us happiness. So that's suggestion number one. Suggestion number two is, see something that's pleasant. Right? And if you can't get out, uh, perhaps you could turn on something they had on, on YouTube, I saw, that they place these uh, documentaries from Netflix about nature called Our World. And there is such beauty and magnificence in this world that you could see, if, we don't, if you don't have the opportunity of getting out, you could see it on a screen. God created a magnificent and beautiful world. It is to inspire us and to bring us happiness. So let's use it. Find God Almighty through the text and find Him in nature as well. That will bring the simcha to the lev until eventually we merit to have an hatarat sfekot. When this is over, then we'll merit to have the third type of happiness when uncertainty will be in the past. Have a great day and all the best. Bye-bye.